Hey everyone, Don here with Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, and today we're going to be taking a look at a limited release revolver. Uh, this is going to be the Jerry Michelik Performance Center 327 World Record Revolver, chambered in 9mm. That's a lot, but you get it in this really cool case, so it kind of makes up for it. Actually, there's a lot of other cool things in here too, so we'll open it up, we'll take a look at the firearm. Just give you a quick little look. Ooh, isn't it pretty? So we'll pull it out. So here it is. Uh, it's actually a very super light revolver. Uh, the frame is made out of a scandium, so aluminum alloy, sc added scandium to it to make it super light and super uh, strong. The barrel in here is gonna be a five inch barrel uh, made of stainless steel. It's ported, it's got four different ports, two on the left and two on the right. The barrel shroud is also ported uh, right where those barrel ports are as well. Uh, we have some mounting screws here, so if you want to put some kind of rail up here for optics, you can definitely do that, but we'll get into optics here uh, in just one second. Uh, in the front, for the front sight, we have a brass bead. In the back, we have just traditional iron sights that you normally would find. But the system actually comes with Smith & Wesson's core system. Uh, but it's new because they've adapted it for revolvers. So there you come with uh, plates and adapters for revolvers uh, that have the core system. And you can put it on there, it'll fit most optics, uh, most popular optics on the market today. So moving down into the cylinder, we have a eight round titanium alloy cylinder. So it's super light and it's super strong. Definitely is one of the things that helped Jerry Michelik win the world record for six plates at 1.88 seconds. So sorry for spoilers if you haven't watched the mini series on it, the mini documentary. It's still really good, 15 minutes. I suggest you go and watch it on Smith & Wesson's uh, YouTube channel. In the back, we have a bobbed hammer, a double action trigger, and the Jerry Michelik signature wood grips. Nice and smooth, but very ergonomic. So let's check out what's in the box. So the first thing I want to show off is the optic. You get a Vortex Comp Dot, which is eight MOA, has auto shut off and motion activation. Next, we'll come over to the tools here. You have a loader for the moon clips, and you get five moon clips for, uh, for the revolver itself. And you also get a tool to pull the brass off the moon clips. Just makes it really easy in case your hands are a little bit more fragile. Uh, so down in uh, the cavity here, we have your cable lock. Uh, we have some tools here so that you can unlock the firearm. The revolver has an internal locking mechanism. Next, we have these, uh, uh, some of the adapters and the plates for the core operating, uh, core optic system. So we have all the plates that you could ever want, depending on the uh, optic, if you want, don't want to use the Vortex Comp Dot, uh, as well as the plate that you're going to put on top of the revolver itself. So you can put these plates on it. Uh, and then finally down in the bottom here, we have screws, the battery, manual cleaning, everything that you would normally get when you buy a Vortex Optic. That about wraps it up guys. This has been a fantastic revolver. I'm super excited. Again, this is a limited release. Uh, 1,880 of these have been released. I have not been able to find uh, anywhere on the firearm itself that they are individually labeled, you know, one of 1880. Um, so, a little sad, but hey, I mean, you're gonna be getting a great revolver, uh, or a great firearm from Smith & Wesson and from the mind of Jerry Mitchell. So, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.